everyone watching on YouTube, and welcome at long last to Digimon Survive, the game with the best opening logo screen of all time. As you can clearly see, I've never seen more effort put it into an opening logo in my life. But, uh, yeah, it's Digimon Survive. We've been waiting since, like, 2019 for this dang game to come out. I think we, uh, a couple of streams ago, me and chat were talking about it, and this game was announced back in, like, mid-2018 or something to be coming out in 2019. And, uh, you know, but we're finally here. At long last, I'm gonna press any button, it's gonna load data. A uh, couple of things I wanna say at the start, obviously I'm streaming this as usual. There are 90 people in my chat, which is insane. This is the second highest uh, viewer count I've ever had. But um, thank you all so much for being here and those of you watching on YouTube, thank you for watching as well. Chat, fair warning, as usual, my boys Lone Wolf and Wolfen are in the chat. No spoilers of any kind, and no, like, also no being like, Hey, Chaos, make sure you do this, or Chaos, do that, or Chaos, I think you should do this, etc. I play games blind. We're doing a blind playthrough. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have a good time. If I want any help or, uh, discussion or anything, then I'll ask, like, Hey, chat, tell me this, or chat, what do you think about should I do here or do this, etc. But otherwise, you know, just sit back, relax, chat with people and me and have a fun time but we're we're gonna kill it it's gonna be great uh this game already better than a lot of other games i've played recently because it has audio sliders which is insane unheard of so chat please let me know as we go if uh anything is too loud or too quiet we'll be able to uh we'll be able to uh, adjust it a little bit uh all of these other settings i looked at before stream and they seem fine. This battle speed thing, I'm gonna leave at one for now, but if it's too slow, maybe we'll up it to two or three. I'm sure I can change stuff later if needed. VT Monarch, thank you so much for subbing with Prime. Greatly appreciated. Um, I bought the physical edition of the game for people in chat are asking. I have a physical copy of the game. I know a lot of people have been having trouble with the pre-order DLC and getting Geomon, but thankfully, I'm not one of those people, because I got my pre-order from GameStop, and it came with a code on the receipt, and I loaded all that up before stream to make sure we were good to go, and I have the Geomon DLC, so I should be getting Geomon. So that shouldn't be a problem. But, uh, the music looks fine on Streamlabs, so I'm just gonna... What, did I not already do that? Apply, apply settings? There you go. Oh, then you have to back out? Okay. But, uh, we're gonna do that, so, you know, chat will let me know if, like, hey, this is too loud or this is too quiet, and we'll, we'll mix it up as we go. But yeah, Digimon Survive, super pumped, super excited, uh, I will say before we get started right here, uh, if you've been keeping up with my channel much, it's not, like, a huge secret that I've been, uh, a little displeased with how the game has been handled up to release, with all the constant pushbacks, and more so than the pushbacks, I was always really annoyed with the lack of information and the lack of them showing stuff. And back at Digimon Con, they revealed a trailer that didn't look super enticing to me. However, I am, you know, I go into games with open mind, I feel like, and uh, I'm, I'm just excited to play a new Digimon game, straight up, so I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping the game is going to be good. There's really no way to know until we play the game. So, you know, fingers crossed, here's hoping. Here's hoping for a good, fun Digimon experience. So let's let's get to it. And also, Anti-Cannon, thank you so much for subbing with Prime for 14 months. Greatly appreciated. Load up that new game. Let's do it, chat. That sounded really loud. We might need to change some audio settings. Also, for those of you who don't know, I believe this game only has a Japanese dub, just like the Cyber Sleuths. I know, it sucks, but, uh, you know, I'll read all of the dialogue, but we will not have any English voice actors, unfortunately. I'm scared! I'd be scared too if I lived in a black and white forest of death. Don't worry, we're okay. Come on over here. Yeep! That's the same noise I make whenever I'm scared. Oh no, they made it over here already! But who's they?
Jinkies, it's a Digimon, guys. Is that Gabumon? I think that's Gabumon. At first, I thought it was Hackmon, but then I saw the horn. Get away from there. I won't let you lay a hand on them. Uh, it's definitely Ranamon, all right? They're, you know, they're appealing to that fan base right out the gate. Uh, you know, honestly, I can respect it. You guys. Tip, free monsters. This refers to monsters that aren't main character. All right, well, I didn't want to know anything about that. Oh my goodness, they have color in this game? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that missing no was a part of Digimon now. I guess that's what we're doing. Time to learn some of the basics of battle. All right. In battle, the order in which units, monsters, act is determined by their SPD. That's a season of Power Rangers. Also... Are my human characters, like, they have health bars, they're part of the strategy? I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I'm gonna hate that or really like it. In battle, the order in which units, uh, yada yada, it's their speed. Let's start with movement. Press X to choose the move command. I swear, you had better let me both move and attack in the same turn, because that had move and attack in several ones. Yeah, it should be move and then attack. That's how it is in Fire Emblem. I haven't played three houses in a hot minute. I just... I, for a moment there, I saw move and attack being two separate options, and I thought of trails in the sky, and I had a small panic attack, because I was like, I swear, if this strategy game only lets you do either one of move or attack per turn, I'm going to be livid. The area displayed on the grid represents the range of your character's movement. You can rotate the camera using L1 and R1, or adjust the zoom with L2 and R2. All right, yep, yep. It's also important to switch over to the camera to get a full grasp of your situation. By the way... For anyone who uh, has been keeping up with the content a lot, or is maybe even new to the channel, I have played Fire Emblem Three Houses, really loved that game, had a lot of fun with it, played it a couple of times, so I'm not completely new to strategy games. I also played Fire Emblem Awakening and Conquest, but I didn't like those very much. But, uh, I, you know, I, I know the general gist of strategy games, even though I haven't played a ton of them, so, you know. I, I've, I imagine some of that knowledge will roll over into this game. It's also important to switch over to the camera to get a full grasp of your situation. Yep, yep. Move to the blinking square on the grid. All right. Use your cursor on the blinking square. Press X. Boom, there's Ranamon. Slightly faded out. Now let's prepare an attack. Press X to choose the attack commands. I, I just want to... Why, why is it called evolution instead of digivolution? Come on, man. Come on. King Leopard, thank you for subbing with Prime for 12 months. That's a full year. Greatly appreciated, brother. Okay, this is interesting. Here you will see information on the skills you can use. And we have passive skills as well. Raises SP, attack, one rank. All right, all right. This includes the skills effect, SP, cost, range, and area. Oh, we have Diamond Storm, absolute classic. A skills range is the distance it can reach, while its area refers to its size, to the size, to its, I cannot, I swear I can read, I promise. Its area refers to the size of its effect. I'm trying to glance at chat. But, like, there's there are 130 people in chat. I think this is more than I had during Persona 5 Royals. This is the most viewers I've ever had. It's hard to try and keep up with, uh, with chat at all during this. A skill's range is the distance it can reach. Never would have guessed. Well, its area refers to the size of its effect. Okay, yeah, yeah. Passive skills are special ability. Why does it have twos around the range? That's interesting. Passive skills are special abilities that are always on. Pay attention to how each one works. First, let's see what happens with an ordinary attack. Attacking does not cost SP. Choose attack from the skill list and press X, yada yada. Resist, accuracy 54%. That's more than a coin flip. Elemental affinities, critical hit percent, and whatnot are also so shown, so play close atten pay close attention. Yeah. Counter attack percent is particularly important. This is the chance an enemy will counter your attack. Okay, I don't think there's a mechanic like that in three houses that I re can recall. Very interesting. I clearly need a drink of water. Put the cursor on an enemy using that L and press X, yada yada. Yeah, I, this is more than a coin flip. We'll hit it. Huh? Easy. Handicap? Oh no! Choose in turn to finish your turn. What if I don't want to finish my turn? What if I want to have a chat? What if I want to talk? As you end your turn, you can face in a direction. Okay, so I assume like being hit from behind or the sides will be relevant in this game. 
You take more damage if attacked from the side or from behind, so choose this carefully. It's almost like I played Pokemon Conquest. That was another strategy game I played, Pokemon Conquest. I don't think Fire Emblem has a, uh, or at least three houses. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. Again, it's been a while since I played. Uh, the last time I played three houses was when I played Golden Deer on the channel like a year, a year and a half ago. But I don't think three houses had a mechanic where like getting hit from the sides or anything was like relevant. But uh, Pokemon Conquest definitely did. Do. All right, well, I want to face the thing that might attack me. Yeah, you tell him, Gabumon. It's important to check up on other units in battle. Switch to the free cursor to get more info. Circle is free cursor. Got it. You can move the free cursor anywhere on screen. Try putting it over an enemy. Do. Its info is on the upper right. Got it. Detailed information by pressing triangle. Oh, dear. What on earth is that? Is that an actual, like, is that a Digimon that existed before this game? I don't recognize that thing at all. What the heck? That's odd. For some reason, you can't see any information about this enemy. Yeah, maybe it's because it's covered in dark evil gas. I mean, it's obviously some kind of a tadpole. So, like, if this is Otamamon, but evil now, it doesn't stand a friggin' chance. There's nothing more to learn here. Press circle to stop displaying this information. Yeah, I mean, I can learn about the many, many question marks. That didn't reveal anything useful. What a great waste of everybody's time. Switch back to the regular cursor and just go all out. Dude, easiest strategy of my entire life. This is no ordinary foe. Aim for extra damage by attacking it from behind. Move to the blinking square. All right, yeah, yeah. Behold, it is I, Gabumon. Use a skill for big damage. Choose the attack command like before, then select Blue Blaster, classic attack name. You'll love to see it. This has got some heavy range. 74%. That's all I need. Petite fire! Petite fire! You dealt extra damage by performing a rear attack. Flank attacks also do more damage. This doesn't seem to have taken... It doesn't seem to have taken much damage. Is this enemy too powerful to defeat? Not with the power of anime friendship, it isn't. Yo, what if this thing's a virus and I have two datas? We're so screwed. Ugh, why I oughta? My dude's about to eat some spinach and like grow muscles like Popeye and be like, why I oughta? I say, I say, I say, why I oughta? That's more Foghorn Leghorn, but still my point stands. I don't like the noise it makes when it moves around. <laughs> Grar. Yeah, small child, you got it. I believe in you. There's no way you don't got this. No! I won't let you harm these children any more than you already have. Are we gonna like see our sister die at the start of the game and then we have to like avenge her down the line or something? If we can just get to that place. Ah, Miyuki. I'm okay. Go, head for that light. All right, yeah. I'm sure you'll be fine. I believe in you. By, by the way, again, there are... I think we just passed 140 people in chat. Most I've ever had. That's insane. Thank you all so much. Hope you're having a good time. Glad to have you. Uh, Lone Wolf, Wolfen, if you guys need to turn on slow mode for chat, I think we did that back when we were over 100 in Persona 5 Royal. You know, feel free to. It seems like it's fine right now, but, uh, if, if it gets to the point where you're like, chat is getting a little hard to moderate, feel free to slap on slow mode if you need to. Ah! Run, Haru! Get out of here! No way! I'm not leaving you behind! What are you doing? Go on, hurry! It's no good. I can't hold them back anymore. Look out! Yeep! <laughs> yep, that's what I always say when I'm scared. What the? It's sucking me in! If anything happened to you, I'd, why I'd, 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 I don't even know what I ought to do. You have to get back safe on your own somehow. That sounded safe. Oh. All right. 
Well, this child is emotionally scarred for all time. Miyuki! He definitely said sister there, by the way. But they translated as her name for some reason. The dialogue should just, the subtitle should just be big sister something. I gotta save her, but I, I can't. Dude, just warp Digivolve. It's the easiest money ever made. Miyuki! Wait for me. And he was never heard from again. I'll rescue you, Miyuki. No matter what. That's the end of the game. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Good time. Very fun. We're in a prologue, apparently, so there are chapters. Morning. You get any sleep last night? I have to read fast. This is a cutscene. How about that quake this morning? Sure woke me up. Uh-huh. Boy, howdy. You want to trade some Digimon cards? Where are these ruins we're going to again? Hold on. I have a map in here somewhere. <laughs> How did he do that? Is he on a conveyor belt? Good morning. Minoru, don't scare me like that. Yeah, my bad. Off to an early start, huh? Oh my goodness, so many unique looking characters. Taking all bets on how many of them die. Mew, time to get up. Come on. Your food's gonna get cold. Get absolutely straw dolled. Oh no, she went by herself again. Oh, this little kid is absolutely gonna die. She's gonna get murdered so hard in like chapter three, I can already see it. It's snowing. Okay, three, two, one. Hey, move it. Sorry. Wow, you're such a charmer. No wonder all the girls love you. Ah, oh, shut up. Which brings us to the news. At roughly five o'clock this morning, murder, a magnitude three earthquake hit somewhere. Wait, isn't that here? It caused a landslide in parts of the region and police and fire departments urge caution. I love these flowers. Sojuro? Oh no, that's not Sojuro, never mind. If only. Due to the risk of further seismic activity, everyone in the Kenobi area is encouraged. Hello there, General Kenobi. Is it really safe for us to go on this trip? All right, everyone, we're going on this dangerous trip. It's time for us to head out. Please sign these waivers that we're not responsible for if you die. Make sure to follow your leader. Remember, this isn't a vacation. Make sure you stick to the schedule. This sucks. Ah, gogglehead. The Digimon staple. Takuma? Ah, sorry. Just got a little distracted. That's why season five of Digimon doesn't actually count as Digimon, because there's no gogglehead. It was a mistake all around. Oh! Oh, you're the two who, like, died at the start, or seemed to die. All right, yeah, this isn't horrifying at all. 